in now to share some thoughts and memories on behalf of Kevin. I'd like to welcome to the stage Nationwide Hall of Fame agent Ron Keats. Chris Schieffer, I salute you, and I pledge to catch up on my Marvel comics. Uh, first timers, way to go. Now you know why you do this. This is why you do this. Welcome, congratulations to you. So I have a clicker here somewhere. Let's see if we got this going on. Come on, baby. All righty, well, <laughs> let me say this. Kevin McLaughlin is the greatest insurance agent who has ever lived. <laughs> How do I know that? He told me so. <laughs> God loves Kevin McLaughlin. No question about it. He gave him the wise and wonderful, the disciplined and cultured, the beautiful, beautiful native Texan, and perfect wife for Kevin, Miss Lori O'Malley McLaughlin. He gave Kevin three of the coolest kids on this earth, and that one could be blessed with. The sweetest of the sweet, and the much-loved school teacher, Katie, the sharp, the talented, the handsome, and the outstanding athlete, Ryan, and well, then there's Mary. <laughs> Tons of fun, witty and sarcastic, a young female version of our Kevin. Uh, she will make you smile. She makes Cindy and I smile every day. God gave Kevin a fun, supportive, understanding brother in Brian and his wife, Tamman, a loving sister and caring sister in Kelly. God gave Kevin the best in friends and extended family, Sam, Karen, Jim, Susie, and so many of us here in this room. And finally, the beloved grandpa, Jim. Grandpa Jim, passed away just this past October. But this is Kevin's best friend. <laughs> Gra oh, I went a little, all right, I'm gonna click happy. But anyway, Grandpa Jim and Kevin's mom are sitting together tonight in heaven, beaming with the pride that I feel for you today, Kevin. So I suppose that God loves me too. And that's what this is about. Some 20 years ago, and I hate air quotes, but he gave me this special friend. Or does he love me? We'll get into that a little bit further. Who is Kevin McLaughlin? Well, he's affectionately known <laughs> by some of his old friends as Casper due to his very white Casper-like legs. <laughs> He's also known as F.U.K. Hold on. That is favorite Uncle Kevin to his nieces and nephews. And let me tell you a little bit about the nieces and nephews Last night, Cindy and I had the great joy of joining that family for a celebration of this great event. And, you know, the, 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 the youngest, a tw young tw I, think, I think Stephen's 12 years old, Stephen gets up and he starts telling us at the table and starts telling a story about Kevin making us all laugh and then closing with, I love you, Kevin, Uncle Kevin. And then the next child got up and said something, and the next child, and the next child, and each one of them said how they love Uncle Kevin. Kevin McLaughlin is one special dad, special uncle, special friend. He is one very special person.
He's an awesome, involved dad. He's a doting and loving husband. He is a dedicated, loyal, and masterful nationwide insurance agent. Anyone who knows Kevin knows that life with Kevin is all about Kevin. <laughs> this week has been all about Kevin. My 20, or let's just say this year has been all about Kevin for sure. My entire friendship of 20 years has been all about Kevin. And let me tell you how he does that. His words are bold, strong, and focused. His humor is sarcastic, demeaning, but infectious. He's a grown up in a child, and I was gonna say, he's a grown up in a child's body. <laughs> he's a troublemaker, and as you've heard before, he's a prankster. These traits he's passed on to his kids his nieces, his nephews, his friends, and his in-laws. All of you know his favorite move, and that's where he finds a spot on your shirt, and then he finds his way up into your nose. Well, I gotta tell you, last night, it wasn't just him. His brother got me. His daughter got me. His niece got me. His nephew got me. His friend got me. I was just waiting for Lori to get me, but I know that would never happen. Thank you, Lori. Oh, Kevin. That is Kevin. And that'll be his legacy. As annoying as it all seems, but maybe it's not all about Kevin. But after all, I think it's really about us. He just wants each of us to have as much fun as he is. Let's see, can I have some screen? There we go, time. Time is, is, is we all know, is, is such a, a precious commodity. And Kevin values time and just how much of it he shares. And his priorities are in this order. It's, uh, of course, his time with his family, his friends, work, food, and of course, wine. Well, you know what, maybe not. Maybe not in that order. I think that more accurately, it's food, family, <laughs> friends, work, and wine. But no, 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 no. If you really want to know, where Kevin's priorities sit, it would certainly be the wine, the food, the family, the friends, and his work. So there it is. But regardless of how he values time, Kevin will get the most out of it and every aspect of it. Kevin McLaughlin is a salesman. You sit in a meeting with Kevin, and he will sell you. You listen to him on a call, and he is selling his point of view. What's most interesting is he's usually right and adding value with every word. Kevin McLaughlin makes the sale. When the price isn't right, Kevin makes the sale. When the odds are against him, he makes the sale. When the current broker is entrenched in the relationship, Kevin will make the sale. When his brother Brian is the current broker, he makes the sale. <laughs> He's got a way with words like no other, but he, what he does do is he backs those words with his action. Through those words, Kevin makes nationwide and all of us a stronger company and a better company. Kevin has mastered the art of salesmanship. He, he combines professionalism and his artistic depictions of value along with the implied offer of his friendship. And this can be truly irresistible to a prospect. Believe it or not, it's true, and, and you got to feel for those prospects of his. But no service center, no direct 
agent, no 800 number, can replace the value that Kevin McLaughlin puts on the street for this company. Kevin is Nationwide's link to the consumer and one that, most importantly, will always be sought out and valued. A little bit of history. Kevin first became a nationwide agent in 1991 as a community agent. This was a very successful program that has developed some of, some of the very best insurance agents we have. He was the, none to date have reached the level of success that he has. He is the first community agent to have achieved Hall of Fame. He is the first agent from Texas who has achieved Hall of Fame. He has won or achieved essentially every award that this company has sponsored, including, and I had the pictures up a moment ago, I suppose, if I hit it right, uh, regional Product Leaders, Re Regional Agent of the Year, Sales Award, how many times, CLC, how many times, MDRT, and he is a lifetime member of MDRT. And of course, he has made 20 years of President's Conference. Oh, there they are. All right, so right now I've got um, something very, very special for you. No, I've got something very special for you. I painstakingly seeked out Kevin's very first client. And uh, it was a chore, but he had something that he really he wanted to say. So if guys, you can cue that up in the back. Kevin McLaughlin? I hate that guy. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh wait. I'm so sorry, that was the wrong clip. He really had a lot of great things to say. <laughs> All right. So finally, some, uh, some fun Kevin facts. Kevin loves to sing after a little wine. Kevin loves to dance after a little bit of wine. He loves the theater much like Cindy and I do, his Les Mis, his Jersey Boys, and of course, Mamma Mia. Oh my God, that, oh my God. He loves to visit the house he grew up in. He loves to visit, his, oh, you know what, these, the, the films are just moving all over the place, but let me tell you, he loves his hometown. He takes us to his, we have to visit his grade school. We have to visit, every, every time he comes, we have to visit his high school. I had some nice pictures there, but we'll just get right by that. Um, and there's a great story there that privately I will share with some of you. He does love, oh, there we go. There's his uh, grade school. Here's his high school. All right, guy, very good. <laughs> there. And there you go, he is grown on Long Island, and I do love to say that. There's his old house, and uh, like I said, great story there. There's our Bela Bear, uh, Sikkim. All right. Uh, and he loves his home, his gardens, and yes, that's Prankster Kevin TPing his own house. <laughs> so, all right. You know, most importantly, Kevin loves to be the center of attention. And he loves to entertain us. <laughs> center of attention, there he is. He loves to entertain us and make us laugh, both at him and with him. So, thank you for all of that, Kevin. So, after 24 years at Nationwide, Kevin has earned the respect and admiration of his peers, of management, and that of our leadership. He set his height, sight, on the highest level of achievement. Today, we celebrate that dedication to, his, to success. Kevin will be inducted into the Nationwide Hall of Fame because he is remarkably talented. He possesses peak confidence. 
He is passionate about the work he does. He cares. He loves. He knows and he shares. And now that is an inspiration. No one deserves this honor more than you, Kevin. I do love you, I appreciate you, and I am so very proud of you. Ladies and gentlemen, the 50th inductee into the Nationwide Hall of Fame, I proudly call up my dear friend, Kevin McLaughlin. <laughs> I was that good, Ron. But you were one messy eater. That's why we kept getting you last night so bad. On a serious note, thank you, Ron, for that nice introduction. You and Cindy, Justin, and Courtney have become very dear friends of ours. And in such a loving way, they, they, they reach out to my kids. Uh, it's the secret sauce of the Hall of Fame Presence Conference. It's, the, it's that caring, empathetic friend that is there in the high of the highs and the low of the lows. When your father passes away, he's on the phone. He's on a plane. He's just that kind of guy. And I'm blessed with a number of those kind of guys with us tonight. So thanks, Ron. That was a nice introduction, and we'll talk later. <laughs> I'd also like to thank all the qualifiers. As you walk through this great event, lots of people are saying congratulations and way to go. And if you only knew how much you inspire me, and I congratulate each of you because you're here. And hanging out with winners is a lot of fun. So give yourself a round of applause. You know, where's Chris? You obviously had a better MC because, you know, there's two ways to look at Bob Smith. What do you think about Bob Smith and what does Bob, think, Bob Smith think about Bob Smith, right? So I got a better deal than you did, but, you know, it's okay. But Bob Smith does represent the Hall of Fame in a great way because if it wasn't for these Hall of Famers returning profits to this great company, Nationwide wouldn't have come out to Texas. And then there wouldn't be President's Club qualifiers from Texas and champion guys like John Bellamy and Scott Spring in the audience with us tonight. So thank you, all you Legacy Hall of Fame guys, because you really did make something good. It's in Texas, it's growing, and it's doing very well. So thank you very much. I'd like to thank my family. As you know, I, I do consider them my rock. And my lovely bride here, Lori, has been married to me for 28 years. And I think she wouldn't say they've all been lovely. It's a little challenging from time to time. But you keep me grounded in the high of the highs and the low of the lows, and just really someone to partner with and share a life with. And our life is way bigger than nationwide, and it's way bigger than anything I could imagine. I couldn't imagine my life without you, so I love you. Thank you. My oldest daughter, Katie, is here, and she's quite the jokester, too, because I wonder how Ron got a lot of those things. But I think Katie's doing something really, really cool that kind of correlates with the Hall of Fame. Katie's a second grade teacher, three years out of Baylor University, teaching at the Catholic school she went to. Now, I think that's given back, and I'm very proud of you for doing that. My son, Ryan, will begin his senior year at Baylor, and here recently, he just makes you better. I'll give you an example. He told me I couldn't give up carbs for three weeks. And I did, and I lost some weight. And he reminds me that he challenges me. Ryan, you make me a better person. You're a great young man. I'm very proud of you. And then as Ron alluded to our baby, Mary, the, quite the jokester, uh, you know, she's vice president of her class starting her senior year in high school. The world is her oyster. She goes to school with her cousin, so that's always fun when they call McLaughlin to the office. You don't know which one you're going to get. And uh, Mary, there's no doubt I think you could be governor someday. You've got the skills. As Ron alluded to, I, you know, I lost the, my dad, a.k.a. Archie Bunker. He didn't want an 80th birthday party, so he goes out two weeks early, right? All he had to do is tell us he didn't want to party. We would have canceled it, but no. He has to be dramatic. 
But I've been very lucky for the last 30 years of my life, and my in-laws and my second set of parents are there, Dan and Joanne O'Malley, thank you for investing your time with us and making this really special. It's a great memory, and I love you very much. I also really want to thank some great friends. I really am very blessed in that area. My brother Brian is with us tonight, and what makes Brian special, it's, it's his birthday today. So happy birthday, Brian. But he is a great nationwide agent in his own right, and he's even a better father and a husband and a great brother when you need a good friend. So I'm glad we're making this family memory with your kids and mine. It's kind of special. I'm really lucky to have a very good friend in Sam Mitz. Sam is a director at USA Real Estate Division, and he's one of those friends that it's when and where. If you need something, he's there. If you look up the definition of a good friend, you'll see him and his wife, Karen Mitz. They're with us tonight. I just can't imagine sharing this award without you being here, and so thank you for making the time. Many of you know my brother-in-law, Jim Murray, and he, in his own right, is a great insurance agent. He's also on our na National Advisory Council. He's on our Regional Advisory Council. But Jim and I did something really smart. We married sisters. And for that, Jim, I think we're both doing pretty well. <laughs> you know, this uh, Hall of Fame appears to be an agent-level award, but it's really like a team. And I always like to bring this up for Ron, that RG3 did win the Heisman. Baylor is on the rise, but he wouldn't have won it without a good team. Would you not agree, Ron? So I'll just take a quick minute and introduce you to my team. A lot of them couldn't be here tonight for various reasons, and we have our family here, and that's what we chose to do. But uh, I'd like to thank Sandra, who you met in the video, and her husband, Jer, who's been with me 17 years, probably the most loyal individual that really respects her job, and just really thank you, Sandra, for everything you do. I know she's watching tonight. Uh, the guy you saw on the the big guy, Brad and Amber Worth, been with me 11 years. He's actually at a jack-in-the-box convention trying to bring home some bacon. So he's working, and Brad, good luck, man. We're counting on you. You met Gloria, who runs our services area and commercial, probably one of the hardest working professionals you can imagine. And I just don't even have to manage her. It's just usually right. You know, you just empower people to go do what they do, and she usually gets it right. Thank you, Gloria. Melinda's here. You saw her, runs our personal lines division. She knows the tricks around the nationwide way, more so than I could even begin to do. And so when you need something done, she's a great resource to have. And then you saw our service guy, Kenneth. He's our technology guy. He's our inspection guy. He doesn't have blood pressure problems. You know, half the time you wonder if he's breathing. He's just very even keel, and he, he makes us better. And then I'd say the rest of my team, Yvonne, Lisa Bailey, and Monica Hernandez, are really round out a, a really successful group that we try to put the client first and we try to look at not what your insurance costs this year, but what your insurance is gonna cost for 20 years. And that's how we approach it. So I appreciate that team very much. Quick story on how we got started. You saw it in the video. We were a community agency program and that program has since gone away. But I would say, I'm guessing here, I think we hired somewhere around 125 agents in, originally in Texas and I would bet over 110 of them are still here. It was a great program. It really was. It required you to invest your own money, work nine to nine, Monday through Thursday, nine to five on Fridays, and on Saturdays to one o'clock. 150 phone calls per night per person. Now, thank God caller ID wasn't that, back then. We wouldn't have made any success. But the reality of it was I used to tell Lori, I'm coming home with the shoe salesman from the mall. You know, I, we'd get out at 9 o'clock, and that's what we did. But that's what it took to build a business because Nationwide was an un, unknown brand in Texas. You know, I remember calling people, well, are you a vision store? You know, that's not the case anymore. You turn on the TV, you see Nationwide. You see the Children's Hospital, you see Nationwide. What a company we work for and how much has grown and come, come full circle with us. I'd like to thank the hiring manager that believed in me. I was 28 years old when I started this business, had a lot more hair. Dan George, if you're listening, Dan, thank you very much. And my old RVP, Jim Merhar, who basically came out the very first time I made President's Conference in my office, sat down, and he goes, you know, Kevin, you did a good thing there. You got to do it again or you're fired. I started laughing. I said, yeah, I got to fire the only guy that made President's Club. He goes, yeah, we don't need one-hit wonders in Texas. We got to make this sustainable. <laughs> so. Fear was a good motivator, Jim, if you're listening. <laughs> I 
But Jim set me on the track to get to President's Conference, which gave me into CLC, which got us into MDRT, which basically gave us what Nationwide has today, a diversified earnings capability. And it's really nice to see that brand at work. And I saw Mark Bourbon's slide the other day. I never really saw the power in that slide where Nationwide is the only one with the breadth of products. That is such a comforting thing. I tell my team all the time, if you're having a bad day, pick up the phone and call a farmer's agent. You'll get better real quick. <laughs> I like being the Nationwide guy. I like being an exclusive agent, but I'm really excited about where we're going. The future is extremely bright. Our company is alive and well, and the fact that they will sustain programs like President's Club, Hall of Fame, and introduce some new people, think of the talent inflow we're going to get. That's going to rise everyone's boat. It's a very exciting time, and I'm proud to be the nationwide guide, or Lori's husband. Those are my two identities at home. I am now in the Hall of Fame, and I really want to thank some of those Hall of Fame members that matter a lot to me. Jim Lloyd, Jim Mullen, Keith Puffenbarger, Yes, the diva, Ron Keats, Marsha, 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 Randy Jones, Matt Stone. These are guys and ladies, some of them, that are a phone call away. And all you have to do as an agent is pick up the phone. These people will help you. They will make you better. And they will take great pride in your success. I think Jim Mullen is more proud of me for being a Texas Asian Hall of Famer than I knew what I was getting into. Because every time I see him, he's just so happy. I'm like, Jim, that's awesome. But you know, we got to let this go. It's over now. He goes, no, it's just beginning. So we have other great agents that will follow me in the state of Texas. And uh, I would just encourage you, if you're a, a President's Conference agent for the first time or a Conference of Champion agent, reach out to these Hall of Fame group. They will engage you and they will make you a better person. Ron Keats, I hate to bring this up, but it's a choice. He's 21 for 21 and he'll tell us how great he is and all that kind of stuff. But the reality of it is 21 for 21 in states where rates are going up, coastal strategies are being implemented and markets are shrinking. Now how does someone do that? They choose to do it. He does not choose to lose. And so I would just say that that Hall of Fame group is so special, and it's only special if you leverage it. The power of that group to motivate and inspire younger agents is a phone call away. And I pledge, if you call me, I will call you back, and I'll give you what limited abilities I have. But some of these senior guys, the really ones you ought to spend some time with. Definitely want to thank my regional leadership team. They're great partners, Blair Crossan, Eddie Rivero, Damon Johnson and my sales manager, Randy Reed. I partner with them. I bring them crazy ideas. Sometimes they say yes, sometimes they say no, but they're definitely partners, and they definitely an effective leadership team, and Texas is brighter because of their skills. I'd also like to say a special thank you to Amy Rose. She was my sales manager when our district won District of the Year, and she is by far the best sales manager I have ever had. So. Unfortunately, she's not here tonight. Her district didn't qualify this year, but she is just a wonderful person, made a big difference. Thank you. I got one of the luckiest golf buddies that you can ever imagine. They smile as they take my money. They love it because they know I'm a terrible golfer. But once, once a month, twice a month if we're lucky, but more like once a month, John Bellamy, who is the funniest human being I've ever met, you've got to see him, he's back there somewhere, Scott Spring and Dan Liberator. These are guys that I would encourage you, if you're a young agent, don't hang around complainers. Hang around winners and hang around positive people because they will motivate you right to where you want to go. You want to get drug in the dirt, hang around some complainers. That's where you'll end up. If you want to see new heights, find those people that you can call, share business stories, and get perspectives that need to be refreshed. And that's what those guys do for me. You know, been with Nationwide now 23 years. And last year was the first time I had four claims. I've never had a claim, knock wood. And I had, I had a life insurance claim, a water loss at my house, and two automobile issues. And uh, Nationwide was outstanding. In every case, they settled the claim fairly, on time, and extremely professionally. So I tell my team, and you heard it in the video, we do not apologize for the rate we charge. We should never. Because that's what it takes to deliver what we need. And when someone dies or some kitchen is flooded, 
no one cares what their rate is. So don't get the discussion away from rate if you're a new agent and get on what we serve and what we do and how we deliver that on your side promise because that's where our future is. It's not in rate. I like to say I surround myself with winners because, you know, Ron is definitely a winner. He's 21 for 21. I hear a lot about how great Ron is. And, uh, you know, I guess we all need friends like that. It keeps us humble. So thank you, Ron, for being my friend. You are a dear friend. If you're thinking about going to the Hall of Fame, I would do it one year at a time. 20 years is too, too long. So get one, then get five, then get 10. And when you get 10, think about it. Look at your agency and see where you are. Because the one thing that Nationwide did for me is when I embraced their awards and recognition programs, I diversified our agency and it grew. It worked in concert with their strategy and not in conflict. That is so important. Old time uh, Hall of Fame agent Bill Corrigan still calls me up every so often. He says, Kevin, in January you call your RVP, you find out what's on the menu, and that's what you sell. And the menu has changed. It's commercial insurance, it's financial services, and then it's auto and home. But that doesn't mean we don't sell them all. We just lead with commercial, and that's what we're all going to have to do. So I am proud to say that that group has changed me in a, in a big way. The last thing I would tell you um, is I think there's a lot of great agents in this room, and there are children. And they know Nationwide's culture. They know the brand. They know the family environment we have. This President's Conference, my kids have seen places in the world because of Ryan Dixon's team and John Thrasher's team that do such a great job. How nice is this event? I mean, it's just unbelievable. Ryan, if you're out there, thank you. Your team is amazing, and they do it so effortlessly. It's just well done, and thanks for making it special for all of us. But if you embrace that A&R program, next thing you know, you're going to have revenue streams that look different. You're going to have an agency that's growing, and you're going to be working in conjunction with Nationwide. And that is just like poetry in motion. It's just great. I would just close by saying, God bless Nationwide, God bless Texas, and thank you very much. family join us along with Steve and the executive team. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you Kevin McLaughlin and his family. Kevin's our newest member of the Nationwide Hall of Fame. for Kevin McLaughlin. It's really a privilege to be here tonight to honor the careers of Chris and Kevin. I would now like to ask all of our current Hall of Fame members to join us on stage for the Nationwide Hall of Fame jacket presentation.
From nearly 3,000 nationwide agents across the country, these are the best of the best. David Angel, Larry Crum, Chris Griffin, Mike Griffin, Randy Jones, Ron Keats, Terry Lawfer, Jim Lloyd, Jim Mullen, Keith Puffenbarger, Bob Smith, Ron Smith, Matt Stone, Greg Whitten, and Bill Yates. And now Chris and Kevin, if you could leave your jackets at your table and join the other Hall of Fame agents on the stage, please. Gentlemen, please make the jacket presentation. Congratulations again to Chris and to Kevin and to Bob Smith for 30 years of President's Conference qualification.